Once you download your bike file from Google Classroom, you're going to put it in your fourth period folder or your class folder. And then you're going to right click on your bike file, open with, and then Adobe Photoshop, the most recent one that you have. So click on that to open it in Photoshop. Now this is gonna be a very short, quick assignment. All we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this image into a black and white image. To do that, we are gonna go on the right hand side. So you have your layers here. You have one background layer, it's locked. Uh, and then uh, above that, you should have your properties and adjustments. If your Photoshop does not look like this, make sure you're in the correct workspace. The way you change the workspace is on the top right corner you have these little icons up here you're going to click on this icon and that lets you switch in between so some of you might have it under painting some of you might have it under motion we want to make sure we are in essentials and that should make your Photoshop look like this if it's still not the case then you can reset that workspace the way you do that is at the top here Make sure you have Photoshop selected, and the way you know is it'll say Photoshop in the top uh, top corner. You go to Window, and then Workspace, and there is a Reset Essentials option. So click on that, and it'll reset everything. Um, and then you can kind of go and readjust the way you want. That's That's how usually I keep mine a little different. Um, and then, so now you should be able to see your properties and adjustments. So go ahead and click on adjustments. And then if you hover with your mouse, it'll tell you what each button is. We want to find the black and white, which is this one. So click on that. And that immediately creates a layer above your background. Now this is called non-destructive editing. So what that means is whatever you apply to this layer, like whatever you would make an, uh, for, a, for an adjustment, it's not applying it directly to your background layer. It is creating a new layer above it. And if, any, if, if we want to get rid of it, we can just simply turn it off or we can delete it by dragging it to the trash. So I'm going to undo Command Z because I do want this layer. I'm going to turn it on. Um, so again, non-destructive means you're not directly affecting that layer. It's creating something on its own. So basically anything that goes underneath this black and white, uh, it's kind of like a filter. Anything else I add underneath this will be affected. So in this, uh, while you have this selected, you'll get different um, little bars that you can move around. And that's to control the intensity of certain colors. So if we turn this off, we know the bike is red. So if we move the reds around, you are affecting the black and white tones of that specific color. So you can kind of play around with your adjustments of the bike itself. Uh, the same thing goes for the other colors around. So if we mess with the greens, there's some green right here. So if I mess with the greens, you'll notice you can control the green tones. So it's all it's keeping it black and white, but you are still messing with certain tones around the photograph. Um, so go ahead and choose how you want to adjust this. Once you complete your black and white adjustments, all you're going to do is export as a JPEG. So to do that, go to File, Export, export as should get something like this and then we are going to make sure our format is set to JPEG and your quality is going to be fair because we want to keep the file size short and then export and make sure that you put it in the correct folder we want to keep everything organized and make sure you name it. So um, this is going to be, go ahead and put your first and last name, underscore, and then this one's going to be, um, let's do uh, bike. 
and then save, and then that's gonna give you the JPEG of the black and white bike, and that's what you're gonna turn in.